My name is Rory Ledbetter and I'm a glass blower at Jarpoint Glass. Uh, it was a family business, so I started working here in 1998. Glass was kind of first, uh, I don't know, was discovered the right word, but I say discovered uh, in, like, say, in the deserts where uh, lightning would have struck the sand and they found it to be kind of, you know, uh, a sheen on the sand the next morning kind of thing, you know. Uh, from there they worked out that if you heated it, heated certain sands up enough, they uh, turned to glass or some of them turned clear, I suppose, and some of them turned different colours. So they started uh, making crucibles of the stuff and gathering it and manipulating it and making functional shapes from it. That That's thousands of years ago now, like they've been uh, making glass for I think at least 3,000 years they can date some pieces of glass back to. Uh, when it's hot, it's fast. When it cools down, it's slow. When it's room temperature, it's still moving, but imperceptibly. Glass is a liquid, even at room temperature. So if you look at, a, say, a really old glass window pane, like real glass, not modern glass, that they put all the extra things in it to, you know, uh, insulate your home or whatever but real glass windows, really old ones. You look at them when they're five or six hundred years old, uh, the bottoms of them will be a lot thicker than the top. Same with really old glass bottles, like if a really old glass bottle is left lying on its side, you look at it and you'll see that the, the bit that was on the bottom is a lot thicker than the bit on the top. This is a very fine sand called silica that we use. We, we buy it in from East Germany. Uh, I suppose you probably can use other sands, but um, if you want to get you know, the quality of glass that we, or our customers, I suppose, expect from us, you have to use you know, only, the, only the best materials to make the glass. All sorts of glasses will melt at different temperatures depending on what they're made of. This one, we find a comfortable working temperature for smaller pieces is around 11.35 thereabouts. Bigger pieces, we can go down as low as 10.90 centigrade. The furnace is at working temperature today of 11.35. You get little burns all the time, you know, like a, like a burn as bad as you might get cooking, say. You get, you get one of them every two or three days. You just get used to it. But um, I've had three bad burns. All my own fault, of course. If you're concentrating on what you're doing, you won't get burnt. A handmade process is very different to, um, say, cut glass or um, most of the stuff you'd find on, on the shelf in, uh, in your average shop. It would be more robust, but um, that's not the only feature of it, I suppose. People can tell if something is made by machine, you know, just by the feel of it. So a lot of people prefer a machine-made piece and some people prefer something made by hand. Most of the people that actually come to the shop here would be tourists and that coming from internationally, you know. But um, most of our sales, I suppose, are probably to local shops and shops throughout Ireland. Charles and Camilla, the, was he, the, the Prince of Wales, they were over. They were over in Thomastown there a couple of, a couple of months ago and uh, we made something to present to them. What we're making today is the forest range. So it's just uh, they're more kind of greeny colors. Sometimes we're making it up as we go along and other times, you know, we find a familiar shape and try and adapt it to something different, you know. Most of the shapes that we make are classic shapes as well that have been around for hundreds of years, you know. So uh, they wouldn't be our own design, they'd be ancient, ancient designs. Like for instance, a whiskey glass is a whiskey glass, no matter where you go, like, do you know what I mean? A whiskey glass is just a whiskey shape. And this one is just a, roughly a whiskey glass with less weight in the bottom. A nice light drinking glass, like a water glass or something. And so we put our own spin on it by putting a bit of color around it. Do you know what I mean? If somebody is looking for, uh, you know, just a cheap glass, they're not, um, it's not like they're going, will I buy a Jarpoint glass or will I buy this? The, so whoever's buying those are, they're not, they're not our customers, do you know what I mean? It's not, 
we don't we don't compete against that. Whereas if somebody is thinking, you know, oh, I'm going to get somebody a nice present, I'm going to spend a bit of money on them, I'm going to, you know, get them a Christmas or a birthday present, they don't see hourglass and say, oh, that's 30 euros a glass, whereas this one is only a euro. You know, they don't say, oh, maybe I'll just get them on your own. And if people have come out here and they've seen how we do it, then they'll put a lot more value on it as well. Pretty much every piece of glass you see in the shop inside there was made by either myself or James, or more than likely the two of us working together. I know, we're unreal. <laughs>